Denny, in AutoCAD 2006, we introduced the dynamic input as a way of accessing prompts and kind of having a heads up design so you don't have to do that right. thing, always look at the command line. Right. Users probably, do you find that they still look at the command line quite a bit? Well, you know, AutoCAD's been around a lot longer with the command line than it has without. So yes, I think that we are still very much tied to the command line. And uh, it was converted to a palette right around that time where people could turn it off. That is correct. The last couple of versions you could inadvertently turn the command line off. Or purposely. Well, that's true because <laughs> you want to work in the dynamic world. But anyway, if you're used to using the command line and it's all of a sudden not there, it's very disturbing. And uh, so we have a little toggle, a keyboard toggle that we can use. It's a control key with the number nine, and that will toggle the command line off and on. So you can use it in addition to the dynamic or instead of dynamic, whatever your preference is. So if it disappears, you look down there because you're used to looking down there and it's not there anymore, control nine. Control nine, brings that's it back. right. And, and then F everyone's happy. And function key two? still brings up the text. That's correct. I, I use that sometimes when I... Yes, when you try to figure out why it didn't work the way you yeah, expected it to. Yeah, I want to see all that text. Yes, that so. is a good one. <laughs> yeah, okay, C control nine, I'll remember that. That's a good one, yes, it's important. <laughs> Thanks, Danny.